Hello lovely people, welcome once more to Suzy Glowy Health and Beauty channel. On this channel we deal on everything health and beauty related. Today I'll be doing this amazing smoky forest green eye look for you guys. I'll be matching this eye makeup with two lip colors. So you're gonna tell me which one goes best for this eye look. Please do well to recreate at home and share with the Glowy family. If it's your first time stopping by, don't hesitate to hit the red subscription button down below. Thumbs up this video, like, share and also comment. Also, turn on the notification bell so you get updated each time I upload new and amazing content on this amazing channel because from this channel guys you're gonna have everything health and beauty i mean it health and beauty so stay tuned to Suzy glowy health and beauty channel so you keep glowing 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 and glowing all the way from my end to yours i wish you guys a wonderful and a splendid day till my next video just stay connected and keep watching love you guys ciao ciao yeah i'm going to start my makeup by cleaning my face i'll use my clara seal face wipes alongside my aloe makeup remover no matter how clean your face is you still need to clean it to remove any makeup residue from your face and also excess oil so i'll just press this and clean my face thoroughly yeah before starting my brows i always go over my brows with some loose powder just to uh, do away with excess oil yeah as you can see that's all i do at times i could use milk of magnesia to like just apply or go over my brows Today, I'll be moisturizing my lip with my NYX moisturizer, uh, lip gloss, sorry. I'll just moisturize and let it stay there while I do my brows and the rest of my face. So stay tuned and don't move. Yeah, okay. I just finished drawing my eyebrows, as you can see, off camera, just to make this video like cut it short let it not be too lengthy and boring and today for my concealer to make my eyebrows pop i'm going to be going in with my nas liquid foundation it's like three to four times lighter than my actual shade complexion so i want my eyeshadow to really pop today so it's in the color five light five i'll just use it to uh, conceal my eyebrows so I'll be doing that for you guys right away. When you're doing eyebrows for beginners, I always like the person to be like steady. It's uh, something like practice makes perfect. Sorry. Nobody just became an expert in eyebrows like overnight. You just keep trying don't be discouraged guys each time you try and you don't have it right please just keep trying because you will have it right one day it's very easy and you should have the passion what uh, helps you or makes one uh, makeup artist or somebody's makeup better than another is the fact that the person practice often and also the person has the zeal to do it because there are days when you could just get up and just decide to do your makeup even when you're not going out like when i started doing makeup like years back i would just get up and i don't even have anywhere to go like i'm just home but i'll just like look at my eyeshadow palette and say oh i haven't touched this shadow like for days or weeks and i'll just start doing something on my face like when I see people who pass around and say, ah, are you going somewhere? Are you going to work or stuff? I'll say, no, sir. You just did your makeup and sat at home. I say, yes. That's what makes you different. The passion, that driving force to be better every day. You need to keep trying. There's nobody who like 
just use this one trial to be perfect no you need to do it constantly and you need to love what you're doing first because if you don't love what you're doing the least mistake or any discouragement is just going to drive you off guard so as you can see i just concealed my eyebrows made it pop even more i'll do the other eye off camera and get back to you i'll just use what's left of the nas liquid foundation as my eyeshadow primer this for this look so you can see this foundation is very very nice it just melts into the skin like magic i so love nas if you not tried it before i recommend you try out their product they do good products and it's not too expensive so one side of my brow done and i'm moving over to the next all right i'll start um i already did the other side it's a bright smoky uh green eye i'll do this side so I zoomed it in so you can see it very well. I have my NARS concealer on the back of my hand. It's warming up. I'll just take that concealer and use it to pry, prep. It's not NARS concealer, sorry. My NARS foundation. I'll just use that to prep my eyelid for eyeshadow application. And I want this eyeshadow very vibrant. So I'm using this nice foundation that is two to three times even four times lighter than my actual complexion so after doing that i'll just go in with my beauty blender and just blend everything so it's nice and smooth i always drag my uh, concealer to my under eye so it also helps me conceal dark under eye circles and makes my foundation application much more easier and smoother so as you can see i already prepped my eye and today for this makeup look i'll be using uh i'll be using i'll be using my huda new huda nude palette for you guys to see well a huda nude palette it's new this palette is amazing the pigmentation is so good it comes with so many colors you can see here the nude shades the very very vibrant shades and also the shimmer colors so i'll be using this eyeshadow palette today to create this look so stay tuned and watch me do this i'll start with this color which is uh the color 508 518 sorry i'll just take this color 518 with my fluffy blending brush without dapping any excess I'll just use that to pack onto my eyelid take more of that just pack onto my eyelid so you can see I'm just building the intensity also concentrating more in my crease area sorry not going too upwards I'll go in with this color this color here it's like a bright pink color i'll just use that to increase the intensity of the previous color so like today i'm having like two transition transition colors the pink and the pale yellow or like a pale orange color the 518 i used before so i'm just basically blending everything blending is the key if you don't have patience in blending please don't expect to have a flawless makeup you will look like a clown if you don't blend very well sorry i'm using that word but we all need to take time out to blend so because of this harsh line that have been created you can see here i'll just go in with the same shade i started with that is the 518 but this time i'm going to dust out any excess so it's not heavy and i'll just press that 
on top of where I have the line so that the line disappears and everything becomes nice and smooth as you can see we have no harsh lines anymore and now I'll be going in with this amazing green color forest green here and this color is called according to our chat this color is called daddy this color as you can see here is called daddy so i'll be using daddy with my finger i'll just rub my finger into the eyeshadow and just start packing that onto my lid i'll just pack starting from the center and working my way inwards and upwards at the same time Just watch me do this. I obviously like the pigmentation of this palette. You don't need so much for you to get your desired color. Just a tiny bit goes a long way. So I will advise you try this palette, guys. It's not so expensive. It's very, very affordable. And it has amazing colors. For those who are beginning makeup, I think palettes like this are so good because of their colors. One, they are attractive, they are appealing, the um, like provoke you into doing makeup, and also they have a lot of colors that do many things. So I already have uh, the intensity. It's okay. So what I'll do, I want a more smoky effect. I'll go in with this dark color right here and a bit of this color so as not to go too heavy. I'll just blend that in. For a smoky effect, you can see that. I'll just take some with a light hand into my eye as you can see yeah after doing that if you could notice i left the inner part of my eye without putting the green shadow so i want a bit of pop and this i'll be using this champagne color this shimmer color uh and this color it's called wig. I'll be using the color wig in my inner tear dot just to give me that brightness. Yeah, I think that is basically. I'm so happy with my look and how it turned out. I'll still go in with uh, to get some wig, dust that out and just touch and highlight my brow bone or highlight. So you discover that just an eyeshadow palette does everything for you. It's a highlighter. It has good colors you could use for blush. It has. Uh, it's an eyeshadow. It's everything you could use to set. It's everything so I basically have done my eyeshadow the way I want it to be and now I think I should be lining my eye right away for eyeliner today I'll still be using Huda Beauty liquid liner so line my eye Yeah, I already went ahead and 
cut my falsies on i'll just line my waterline with uh, a silver jumbo pencil because i want a more wider eye today please for those who tear a lot be careful when you do this yeah and now i'll go in to do my face and i'll start with my cover fx for those who know me they know i love a dewy finish so i'll go with my cover fx you can see that with my cover fx liquid illuminator i'll just take that and put a few like create a few dots on my face and just rub that in with my finger uh, yeah just massage that in and it dries up like dries up mats this liquid illuminator is very nice for those who have oily skin when it dries up it has a matte like a tacky feeling on your hand so for those who really have oily faces this is for you today i'll be using my l'oreal c6 soft sable as my foundation for today I'll just take some it's almost finished so I'll just take some and touch creates like little dots on my face these dots are not little at all <laughs> just create dots on my face and I'll use my foundation brush today to just press that in This foundation is so nice it just like melts into your skin effortlessly you can see that for yourself and I also love this foundation brush because it helps to clean off or give you that very sharp edge because of its shape so I'll just and that I'm pressing in and also swiping at the same time don't forget the side of your nose it might be tricky at times you might forget to go around that area and it leaves it looking different from the other parts of your your face so before concealing guys i'll go in with my beauty blender and just remove excess oil or sorry excess foundation and blend everything even more for concealer today i'll be using my l'oreal stick concealer it's like two to uh, three shades lighter than my foundation the bridge of my nose my forehead and i think around my mouth and for contour today i'll be using my esther loader double wear contour just watch me do this after applying all of this what you need to do is to blend i'll be using my foundation brush to blend my concealer and highlighter it just does the job for me so easily as you can see
so easy guys uh l'oreal does good products it's very easy to blend very very easy to blend their products they just melt into the skin so so easily effortlessly you just do your makeup and you're good to go i'll still go in with my beauty blender my all time a must have for all those who love makeup you need your beauty blender it's supposed to be handy guys just always have one around it settles a lot of problems in blending after doing that i'll just use the same beauty blender to blend my contour area see you see how good this estaluda contour is Just blend, blend, blend. Take your time in blending, please. Don't hurry when you're blending. This is the key to a flawless makeup. It's blending. Don't hurry when you're blending, please. Just blend and blend very well blend everything very very well and for a more uh, and to prevent harsh lines or to do away with harsh lines i just go all over my face with the same beauty blender and now i'm going to set my highlighted areas with my blossom hd compact powder I'll just take some and just set my under eye to prevent creasing and also to absorb excess oil for a more durable and more matte finish I'll go in with my Sasha translucent powder still with my beauty blender I'm just going to Raise that under my eye to bake, especially those areas, the T zone, where I usually get too oily. I try to bake, I like baking those areas so that my makeup can stay much longer. Or, oh, yeah, after doing that. I will use once more my Huda Nude Palette. Yeah, I will be taking this brown shade here. I will take this shade because it's too dark. I will take this and mix with this. So I reduce the intensity of this color. And just set my contoured areas. To bring back the warmth to my face. Each time you use a liquid to contour or you use a liquid as foundation, please remember to come over it with a pressed powder or dry powder. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm just setting my liquid contour with... So you see how important or how nice and handy this eyeshadow is as i was saying in the beginning this eyeshadow does like a lot of things in one it's an eyeshadow you can contour you can highlight you can bronze your face in fact you use it as blue. now that i'm done with setting my contour area i'll dust off my baking powder with still with my blossom I'm just going to use this brush fluffy 
soft and dust everything off. You're sweeping. After removing my baking powder, still who that wants more? I'll use this pinky shade here. This shade, I'll use it alongside this color here. It's like darker than the previous color. I'll just dab it and blush my face. Can you see how beautiful this is turning to be? It's bringing back the warmth to my face and the color combination is very 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 nice i think i love this palette like when you're going for wedding makeups like i do often i just take a palette like this and maybe another palette that has glitter and i'm good to go subtle blush is very good with blushing a little goes a long way so don't go heavy on your blush now I will still use this palette so you see how important this palette is I can't just overemphasize it's important I'll use this color right here this color right here this champagne color weak and just highlight my face you see can you see the glow it brings to my face I love this especially so like apply on my forehead because I don't like it too bright now I'll add a bit of uh, I'll add a bit of the highlighter because I just think it's not bright enough i'll go in with my cocoa bronzer sorry it break and it's all shattered but i still manage to use it wow do you see do you see the magic of the cocoa bronzer it looks like it's silver but when you put it it looks like goldish so I call this bronzer my magical bronzer go over my cubit bow and now I'll line my lip I'm using my brown pencil in the color 18. Today, for my lip, I'll add a bit of the ox blood. yeah and for my lip today since my eyes are already bright my lashes are already popping i'll go in with a nude lipstick that is n lip gloss that's my nyx lip gloss mm. it smells like chocolate so tempting to lick. Oh, sorry. I 
think my lips are a bit too cool than what I want. So what I'll do is I'm going to add a bit of my concealer. To give me a more ombre effect. After which I think I'm done. I'll just go in with my smudge box to set my entire face. Wow. I'll let that dry. But before it dries off, I'll I always use two setting sprays, like uh, one is dewy and one is more of matte. So my botani botany setting spray gives me that dewy feel. So when I use both, it's in between matte and dewy and it gives me that just uh, wonderful finish I love. It's just preference, guys. There we go. I will let that dry off and get back to you guys with the finish look. And yeah, guys, is the finish look. This is how this look turned out. It's a forest green smoky eye over a nude lip. Tell me what you think about this look and if you have other videos you want me to do, do well to leave in the comment section and try to recreate this back at home. Please, the eyeshadow palette I use is not important. Just grab the colors I use and recreate with anything you have. This look is very, very nice. You can wear it for a party, you can wear it for other events. I'm going to try another lipstick and you tell me which you prefer or to be worn with this amazing forest green eye look. I'll go in with my MAC Chili lipstick in the color 602. Yeah, guys, leave a comment down below which lip uh, goes more or goes best with this amazing eye look. For my end, I wish you all the best. Till my next video, still connected to Suzy Glowy Health and Beauty channel. Ciao!